Getting the unstable connection, try a new location message on WhatsApp using your iPhone. This can happen due to weak internet, network restrictions, or app related issues. But don't worry, in this video, I'll show you how to solve the unstable connection problem on WhatsApp using your iPhone step by step. So let's get started. Before doing anything else, make sure you have a stable internet connection. Try switching between Wi Fi and mobile data. Now try airplane mode on and off. After that, try these advanced solutions. Solution 1 Disconnect VPN. Open up the settings app. After that, tap general. Scroll down a little bit. After that, tap on VPN and device management. Here, make sure to disconnect your VPN. Now restart your iPhone and try to call someone on WhatsApp and see whether the issue is solved or not. If not, then try the next solution. Solution 2. Enable background app refresh. Go to the settings app, tap on general, scroll down, tap on background app refresh. Again, tap on background app refresh. Now select Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data from here. Then go back, scroll down, find the app. Make sure to toggle it on. Now go to the WhatsApp app and try to open it again. If you still have the same issue, then follow the next solution. Solution 3. Offload WhatsApp app. Go to the settings again. Then tap on General. Next, tap on iPhone Storage. Now scroll down and find the WhatsApp app. If you don't find the WhatsApp here, tap on Show All. Next, tap on WhatsApp. Then tap Offload. And again, tap Offload. After that, tap Reinstall. Solution 4. Reset Network Settings. Open Settings. Tap General. Scroll down. Then tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. After that, tap Reset. Now tap Reset Network Settings. This will reset settings like Wi-Fi, password, but won't delete your data. Then enter the passcode of your iPhone if it wants. Tap Reset Network Settings again. After the resetting network, go ahead and check whether your problem is solved or not. So that's how you can solve the unstable connection problem on WhatsApp using your iPhone. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then drop a like. And if you have any questions, then write them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.